Hi guys, today we're taking a look at another mouse that really surpassed my expectations and the mouse in question is the Deluxe M800 Ultra. About a half a year ago I made a review about the previous model, the Deluxe M800 Pro and honestly I didn't like that mouse at all. It just gave a cheap impression and the performance with the Telink MCU was lackluster. But this time the shell is much better, the clicks are very crisp and the performance is very impressive. Let's start with the performance. The click latency I measured with this mouse mouse was very competitive considering the fact the lowest debounce setting is 2 milliseconds on the driver. With that I could measure a click latency of just over 1 milliseconds with the 4k and 2k polling. With the 1k polling the click latency was a bit worse but that was expected and it is still very close to the GBX1 click latency at 1k polling. But if they would allow a 0 milliseconds debounce these results could be even better. The motion delay was around minus 0.3 milliseconds with the 4k polling and motion sync enabled which is pretty much the same performance as you get with pulsars and lamsus 4k implementations other polling rates were also on par with those stability was also really good on this mouse and some random outliers aside i could get a really clean polling rate graph on mouse tester like i hope they removed the weird plastic parts from the sides of this mouse and overall the plastic they have used on this mouse feels much much better in quality and the only minor flexing i can find on this mouse is just below the side buttons but it's still a very small flex and I can't get it on camera. Nothing like I had on the AJAS mouse for example. Main buttons are also very solid on my unit and have no significant sideways wobbling. The mouse weighs 50 grams on my scale and the weight feels really balanced overall. The main buttons are using the Huano transparent blue shell pink dots and they are yet again very nice feeling mechanical buttons. They are pretty light to actuate and both the pre and post travel feel spot on. Side buttons are also fantastic and I really like the shape and position they have. They are just really easy to actuate with my hand. The scroll wheel is also very very nice and I don't know really why but it feels just very satisfying to scroll. The shape is the same as on the previous model so it is a shrunken down Viper V2 which feels very good to claw grip with my 17.5 x 10.5 cm hand. The coating is something they could improve in the future and while it is a nice looking matte coating it sometimes feels a bit slippery especially during these winter days. And lastly the skates were just trash so put in some better skates and you have a really nice mouse in your hands and yeah overall this mouse performs really well and i can seriously recommend it for those who are looking for a new 4k polling capable mouse for a bit cheaper than others price wise this mouse competes with basically the vgn dragonfly models and with a little bit of extra you could afford a mouse from lamzu for example but still this mouse offers a great bang for your buck currently this mouse is sold at max gaming as a bundle with the dongle for around 75 euros and from make keys you can get it at $50 plus $13 for the dongle which is a pretty good price in my opinion but yeah that's it for this review thanks for watching and see you on the next one goodbye